Hello, welcome to Black Cube Magazine and Gallery Weekend Paris. Today we'll see six exciting shows. But first, let's have some impressions of this wonderful city. We are right in the center of Paris and greeted by a giant sculpture showing Japanese artist Yayoi Kusama, who is currently collaborating with Louis Vuitton on a project. And this is the famous Seine River with the Louvre in the background. And by the way, for those who are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and to comment to tell us about your thoughts. So the first stop of our tour is Galerie Kamel Manur and we're seeing a show of Gina Payne. It's a wonderfully upbeat and colorful exhibition, demonstrating the roots and influences of this artist. Geometric abstraction, the vocabulary of suprematism, especially Kazimir Malevich, and constructivism. The works of Gina Payne leave an immediate and strong impression because they show her complete mastery of composition. She has a strong taste for construction and a powerful sense of color. Also, she perfectly knows how to deal with volume, space and separation. Her ensembles are structured in different proportions and rely primarily on primary shapes like circles, triangles and polygonals. The next stop here is Galeria Continua, showing works of Brazilian artist Ana Maria Tavares. Tavares takes reference to the modernist movement in Brazil, which is characteristic of the major urban and architectural projects of Brasilia, the country's capital. The artist confronts modernism in a critical way. She is reintroducing handicraft and ornament as a counterpoint to sleek industrial silhouettes and techniques. She also eliminates time and color from her installations in order to place the viewer in an alternative artistic reality. She wants the viewer to truly question the essence of the works and go beyond a purely aesthetic understanding of them.
This majestic courtyard leads us to our next exhibition. We are visiting Marian Goodman Gallery, which is located in the Marais neighborhood, one of the hotspots of Paris's art scene. We are seeing works by German Berlin based artist Michaela Eichwald. The artist keeps surprising us with her paintings and works on paper that are using unusual mixes of media acrylic and oil paint, lacquer, shellac, spray paint, or metallic markers. Michaela Eichwald describes her artistic vocabulary as a confrontation of conflicting elements, forms and materials. And the process is mainly based on experimentation, which gives her works always freshness, new twists and unusual effects. Michaela Eichwald's language of abstraction opens up towards a sphere of new perceptions and challenged expectations. It's sometimes vaguely figurative, sometimes reminiscent of expressionism. Now we are taking you to a fantastic show. We are at Galerie Nathalie Obadia seeing photographs of Seydou Keita. Seydou Keita was self-taught and his rise to international fame started actually in a tiny photo studio in Bamako, Mali, in West Africa. Soon it became clear that Seydou Keita was not just a photographer, but a great artist. His inventiveness in terms of setting the scene and the modernity of his shots, as well as the fresh and unusual approach, the subjects he photographed made him a celebrity in his own country. Later, he also became an international star, starting with an exhibition at the Cartier Foundation in 1994. What is so special about these portraits is the effect of natural light that Seydou Keita uses with great mastery. But also the elegance of his works is intriguing. He searches for beauty, or even perfection. He looks for the most advantageous posture of his models and attaches importance to every detail of the scene. Seydou Keita's hallmark is not only the sophistication of his portraiture, but also the accessories he uses and the fabrics he applies for his backgrounds. These patterned backgrounds underline the vitality of his work and make him instantly recognizable.
These are the artworks of Japanese artist Chihiro Shiota at Templon Gallery. Chihiro Shiota is known for her installation and site-specific interventions creating vast ephemeral environments that are often made of yarn. She delicately weaves knotted threads, often in red color, to create fantastical scenes. Her works are meditative and pensive and they question our notions of existence and transcendence. By integrating personal objects like clothes into her installations, she highlights the idea of existence in absence. In her view, a person is also described and present through his or her attributes and accessories. Now, this is the last stop of our tour and we welcome you to the world of craft, pattern and textile by Robert Kushner. Robert Kushner was born in California and currently lives and works in New York. He is one of the main protagonists of the pattern and decoration movement that was developing in the 1970s in New York. The key idea of the movement was to place visual arts and decorative arts on equal footing. At a time when minimalism and conceptual art dominated the American art scene, Robert Kushner went the other way. He stuck to the idea of beauty and placed motive and ornamentation center stage in his work. He uses a vivid color palette and nourishes his work with a blend of Eastern and Western cultures. So we hope you enjoyed our gallery tour through Paris. Please leave your comments and thoughts and feel free to return to our channel for the next video.